What's going on, True Ten? Hey, man, I came to talk to y'all about that Nas Blicky situation. Shout out to bro, man. I sent him. Uh, I sent he almost got killed. You feel me? But but God, the universe allowed him to get another chance in life and, and wake up to new, wake up to understanding what was going on around him. I heard that he was changing his name. I heard that he was uh. He ain't his name not Nas Blicky no more. He changing his name. He he following in his path for righteousness. He becoming a spiritual person. I guess that you feel me. It take a lot of a, a hard head makes a soft ass, but it takes something for you almost losing your life to come to an agreement to where you have to change your life because you have kids and things to raise. He said he changing his life. He not he not Nas Blicky no more. He he using his music. In a positive route, he's doing shit. I tell him, I see motherfuckers laughing. They like, yeah, he got shot. He a goofy, such and such. It's a shame that you got a bunch of young niggas out here, bro, thinking being idiotic is retarded and illiterate is is is, is fucking cool. Like that shit is not cool, my nigga. Like I, I like that's why a lot of New York niggas, bro. I don't respect a lot of them, bro. I'm gonna be honest with these niggas, bro. A lot of these niggas, bro, just be following the train of shot rack. See, I don't speak on shit though, bro. But I be like, what y'all don't know is, bro. GDs and sick GDs and Crips don't beef. You feel me? Hey, they don't beef nowhere. That shit started in New York. That's why, like, when you be seeing like a lot of these uh, GD niggas be getting into it with New York niggas, like how a GD nigga got into it with Fabio before, uh, like I, it was somewhere else in the world. I forgot where it was. He be like GDK and all types of shit, but then he don't say GDK in his own city. He say GDK to every other GD around the world, and niggas don't be appreciating that shit. See, that's the thing, bro. If you see the trend that niggas do, you see how the BD and GD movement is in Chicago and then how that shit transferred to New York and how you got niggas that's bloods and crips and and in the same set and they call that shit woo and they got the GD niggas that call that shit cho. That shit lame, bro. It's lame as fuck because GDs and crips never beefed in the world, bro. They have never beefed. That, them was our first cousins, bro. Niggas don't understand that, bro. That's why I be telling y'all, bro, everything is about a trend and how many niggas you can kill and what you can do, bro. A lot of these niggas be beefing for nothing. And then they killing each other and disrespecting people grave. Like, bro, I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. I don't appreciate none of that shit, bro. Like, that's another thing, bro. A lot of these niggas worship. We live in a generation where niggas worship idols, bro. They worship idols, bro. Like, niggas don't understand that, bro. So, so Nas Blick, the shit that happened to Nas Blicky, bro, he found himself. He found his purpose, and he understand. He, being spiritual, bro, something had to happen to you in order for you to find your find your true self or who you are and step into your purpose. He almost died. He he, he basically died. You feel me? But he, but he learned, like, as this shit, as, as older as you get, bro, this shit get tiring, bro. It get tiring that you losing all your homies. It get tiring that ain't nobody, ain't nobody you can trust no more. It get tiring that everybody look up to a motherfucking rapper and don't want to do nothing but pop pills and, and drink lean and don't want to have healthy benefits with they self. Don't want to have a healthy environment with they self. Don't want to become one per, one piece of with they self. Don't want to step into their purpose as a man or a woman. That shit gets sickening that you going through the same shit every day. You losing homies. Don't nobody around you can trust. You, you Your bones aching. You waking up every day putting your life on the line for motherfuckers that don't care about you. You waking up every day walking in the path of destruction. That shit gets tiring, bro. That shit get tiring, bro. You always cussing motherfuckers out. You always into a fight. You always getting stabbed up. You always shooting at somebody. You always just causing so much motherfucking ruckus in the world, bro. You know it's a lot of people out in the world that's that's happy about that shit. That they do shit like that on a regular day basis and don't think that's and think that shit is cool, bro. That shit is fucked up, bro. That is fucked up, bro. It is. And then niggas think it's funny that niggas get to dying. That shit not funny, bro. It's really fucked up. You know what blow me the most is that it's only black people who doing this shit, bro. We're killing each other as a whole. Like, we're doing the government a favor. That nigga ain't got to step in nothing. He watching us kill each other, but through the music and all the shit we do, bro. We don't care about nobody, bro. We care about, we don't care about shit. A lot of motherfuckers got selfish intent on their own, bro. You got to really pay attention to things and what's going on in, your, in this frequency, bro. A lot of motherfuckers is on a low vibration frequency bro and they mind bro is really trapped in on delusional time and and, and 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 motherfucking mercury time and motherfucking mischief time bro like niggas don't understand bro that nigga Nas Blicky made a positive transaction he found himself he understand that all this shit he's living for his kids man he gotta live for his life and his kids and his goal is to live in his purpose fuck the street shit bro the streets don't mean nothing no more nigga the ops ain't the ops ain't the niggas that you going against in the street
street nigga the ops of the the government and the shit that we got going on now outside the world we got way more people going to uh, way more shit going inside our communities versus the that we that we're not paying attention to versus the other people that's around we do all this other shit for distractions and killing each other is not making our situations better robbing each other is not making our situations better my nigga it's not bro it's not niggas think that shit cool bro niggas be out here faking it to make it these niggas worship these celebrities bro and that's what causes a lot a lot of murders but chicago don't talk about that shit though but i'm gonna talk about it how niggas be trying to act like these niggas from other cities how niggas be beefing with niggas talking about they smoking dead ops and they doing all this shit bro this city in general cleveland I know personally, my city, my city is fucked up, man. It don't give a fuck about nothing, man. My city is followers. Cleveland ain't never been the same since the Chicago shit came out. Just like a way around the world, this shit been fucked up. But I want y'all to understand something, man, right now before I, before I go and shit. Think about what happened to Nas Blicky, some of you young niggas, man, and just pay attention and, and just understand why he doing what he doing. It don't make him no pussy. It don't make him no bitch. It don't make him none of that shit to why he changing his life. He understand his life is more viable. Some shit gotta happen to you for you to have a spiritual awakening, for you to understand, like, I'm playing with my life and I, and I only got a short amount of time on this earth and I need to do something to, to, to let it be known that I'm this chosen person. I need to do something to let the world be known that I'm different than what I once was. I can't run from the old me, but I can. all I can do is evolve the old me, turn me into a new person. And that's all I'm telling you, man. Young man, y'all gotta, as black young men, bro, it's too many killers of us. We kill way, we kill each other way more than Mexicans do, Puerto Ricans, bro. We kill each other way more than any motherfucking race do, bro. We do, bro, and, 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 and the government just letting that happen, and it's like y'all don't give a fuck, but this is this what I'm saying. When you idolize social media and you idolize idols, my nigga, this is what happens. But take this to heed. Love yourself for who you are, man, and change, and look at that Nas Blicky situation and change yourself, man, because you only get one life, bro. You don't get a thousand. You get one, and once you lose, that motherfucker is over. Peace. Follow me at actual truth underscore. Follow me at tg.truth. Like, comment, subscribe to actual truth. Peace. Link in the description for clothing. Peace.